Well, a very good morning from Phuket, and today I've brought you over to Patong, and we're going to be taking a look at a four-star hotel here, situated just a few, maybe a hundred meters from the beach. So, Patong Beach, just down there. Some great views from this hotel. I think you're going to love it. So, this is the front of the resort because it's actually called the Charm resort and I've had a quick look around I've been very kindly invited over by somebody to stay in here Tracy so I want to say a big thank you to Tracy for inviting me over and allowing me the chance to film this for the channel and my group and I'm sure you're gonna love this hotel it's classed as a four-star hotel talking to Tracy she says three stroke four is more accurate but she's got no complaints about the hotel at all I've already asked her and she says it's phenomenal. Just in front here is the restaurant where you will take breakfast. Breakfast is normally included with the room and the breakfast is a buffet style. I have had a quick look inside and they do offer a very, very good choice. And Tracy mentioned that that was one of the things she really loves about this hotel. The breakfast, she said, is really good, really good. And then next to the restaurant, which I believe is called Alua, is the re reception area and the bar as well. There's a bar here next to the restaurant that's open till quite late in the evening. So you've got a nice open planned reception area where you will come and check in, be allocated your room. But now we're gonna jump up to the pool and sky bar area, which is absolutely lovely. You're gonna love this. Okay, so we've just arrived upstairs and as you can see, nice big sign there, the sky bar. They have got a nice gym as well. So if you wanna have a quick workout during your stay, you've got that facility here. And then we're gonna go up to the pool stroke sky bar. Now, I believe the sky bar opens in the afternoon or is it 11 o'clock the sky bar opens? Is it, Tracy? Yeah, 11 o'clock. So it's not open first thing in the morning and what a fantastic view you've got an infinity edged pool there and it's just looking basically over patong bay so a lovely lovely view there um, excellent and then to the one side is the bar obviously it's a little bit early at the moment as i mentioned it's not open yet um, but you've got fantastic views in the evening and then just behind here you've got a separate area and i'm guessing this is where you'd come in the evening time if you want if the you didn't want to be by the pool you could come have some drinks relax and you've got some beautiful cityscape views all round here plenty of tables and chairs all the way around really nice views and of course the sea view as well phenomenal I think this is just excellent and Tracy was saying the drink prices they have some uh, specials um, happy hour the cocktails at 99 baht which she says is really good and uh, normal prices they're not cheap at normal prices but they're pretty much standard prices for Patong around the 150 baht mark upwards so again you know hotel prices not always necessarily the cheapest but it's good that they do the happy hour so if you come here when the happy hour is on you're gonna get some discounts she said the food's good as well the actual food in the restaurant of nighttime can be a little bit expensive she did mention that but again that's pretty typical for Patong so what do you think of this area because I think it's absolutely cracking um, but wait until you see the accommodation okay so we're now going to take a look at a deluxe twin or double room as it's classed here at the Charm Resort so as we enter the room just to the right hand side we have a sink area and this houses the kettle I can see there's tea and coffee there's water an area to wash your cups up plates anything you need to do and then there's quite a large fridge free well it looks like a fridge freezer to be honest um, indeed it is so you have a chilled cold area at the top and a normal fridge at the bottom that's unusual because normally they have the small mini fridges so that's quite nice here and then to the left hand side we have the bathroom so we've got a nice large shower cubicle there 
then your standard WC a very large sink area nice vanity mirror and in this room you've got the bonus of a separate bath obviously the blinds lift up so you can see in your room and that's a nice touch unusual to have a bathtub so that's very nice and then we've got some large wardrobes now I'm presuming there is a safe in the wardrobes I will make sure but I'm not going to go in there because I'm a guest of a guest that's staying here and I don't want to go into the wardrobes because obviously their things are in there there's a nice flat screen TV there's air conditioning of course a Wi-Fi and I've been told all the rooms have a double and a single bed and some are twins and some are doubles but they all have two lots of beds now this room benefits from being on the side closest to Gracelands and the reason why I mention this is you will see when I step out onto the balcony the view that this room offers for a deluxe room is quite staggering really so there you go you have a sea view from here which is quite unusual on a deluxe room especially in Patong now the deluxe rooms on the other side of the building Tracy was telling me don't have the same view they just have views of buildings so a little tip for you if you are going to book into the Charm Resort here in Patong and you're going to be staying in a double or a deluxe room a double or a twin as it's called then you might want to ask to stay on the side that's closest to Gracelands. You need to ask to stay on the right hand side if you're looking at the front of the hotel. So it's the, the side that's closest to Gracelands and then you're gonna have this great view from your balcony and what could be better in the evening time and sitting out here having a few drinks and looking at this amazing view. That is great. So Gracelands just next door. This is Gracelands here. So really nice view of the city here as well as the sea you can't quite see the beach but the beach really just a few minutes walk down here just right there you can see just the entrance there the beach road and then the beach so really fantastic location now of course I've been talking to Tracy who is the guest that's been staying here and just asking her thoughts on the hotel and what she thinks whether she's got any dislikes particular likes and whether this offers a good value for money being here in Patong and she's said no complaints they've got no complaints whatsoever and I asked her to be honest because obviously it's Patong and she said no complaints she particularly likes the breakfast the buffet style I have had a look at the breakfast and it's uh, quite a large choice she thought that was excellent she said the rooms are excellent value for money she's here with quite a number of her family the 16 of them actually staying here with her, her mom and dad and various uh, relatives that are staying along with them um, some have got different grades of room Tracy's got the deluxe room but there's also somebody that's got the deluxe room that's on the other side of this building and this is why I've mentioned the view because even though they've paid the same they don't have this view they only have a view of buildings so bear that in mind if you're going to stay here well I think looking around this deluxe room it's very clean it's quite spacious and um, as I say you can if you get the the sea view with it is going to offer excellent value for money so that's something to bear in mind so what did you think to the charm resort my first impressions is a very good one please leave your thoughts in the comment section and down below let me know what you think to the resort if you want to see more resorts like this but you can see the resort just behind me to the left hand side and there on the other side is the famous Patong Beach so a great place to stay here in Patong I want to say a big thank you once again to Tracy it was lovely meeting all your family and I hope you all have a safe journey home I want to mention that if you enjoyed the video found it helpful and informative don't forget as always to give it a big thumbs up because it does help the channel of course share it on your own social media one other thing that I want to mention about subscribing please do consider subscribing to the channel now I just want to mention that only 18% of people that watch my channel have actually subscribed to the channel so please do subscribe to the channel because I want to get it past the 10,000 subscriber mark now I want to get a big push on it and I guess that just leaves me to say as always thanks for watching and until next time 
You take care and I'll catch you on the next one.